Rasipuram Krishna Swami Lakshman, the world-renowned eminent cartoonist of India, the creator of common man character in the endless array of political cartoons appearing day after day on the front page of India's national daily in English, the Times of India, where Mr. Lakshman has been working for over the past 50 years now with his common man. He remains the mute observer of prismatic dispersions of cartoonist Lakshman in every one of his, you said it, pocket cartoons that kaleidoscope the funny side of socio-political turn of events in the day-to-day -day life in India. With passing of time, which saw India's economic development, modernization and globalization does his common man also change? He won't change. He is not changed. Does the moon change? Does the sunset changes? They remain the same. Common man is like that eternal symbol. If you go on changing him along with uh, the so-called humanity, then he will become a terrorist. But that is the fashion today. Chief terrorist, young terrorist. Cartooning in India has improved a lot. But did that mature enough? It has matured a great deal because the tanks, a cartoonist thrives and flourishes because of the ministers. People like Muraji Desai introducing prohibition which is impossible to introduce. People like Allu Prasad, people like Jayalalitha are the theme, or the fodder for the cartoonist. Supposing one day all our politicians suddenly vanished from the Indian political scene, what could happen to all our cartooners who depend so much on them? That time will never come, one. Secondly, it, they will always be there. The Characters, political characters like Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi, Kriplani, Maulana Kalam Azad, Govind Vallapant, those characters have gone now. They all look same. They all wear only safari bush shirt and uh, pant and go about without any turban. There used to be turban, moustache and so on. For example, take international cartoon. Man like Stalin had an enormous moustache. Man like Churchill had an enormous cigar. Those symbolized. Those things are gone. Today it has become a stereotype, whether it is a foreign country or India. And the Indian politicians have lost their personality completely. There is no fun anymore in their caricature. I have been caricaturing them. Today I find 
not what Lulu Prasad, uh, Prasad is the only one almost. And perhaps Jairalita will never be relegated to the background. And our Karuna Nidhi. And if they go, somebody will come exactly same or different. M.G. Ramachandran fans you know, with his white cap and goggles. Those things are gone. They, they all look same. They don't wear turban or grow long beard and moustache. Rarely you will find, in spite of all this, who is that uh, people who he slept? Seve <laughs> Gowda. Even if he doesn't do anything, he presented himself for the brief period he was the Prime Minister. They are very jolly good fellows. They never uh, get angry. I, I have always had a great deal of friends among the politicians, including people like Muraji Desai. And perhaps privately they curse me, wish I would be dead and so on. But when you meet them in the aeroplane next to you, they say, I liked your cartoon very much. <laughs> that was one I told my wife, you must see. But, Mr. Lakshman, you have made a mistake. And they correct and they want to be cartoonists at that point. As Rajiv Gandhi once said, told me, I like your cartoons, but you make me look too fat. I said, I will look into the matter. Nehru was the only one. Nehru was very fond of cartoons and caricatures. And he gave me an interview for 10 minutes and sat for nearly one hour discussing, talking. And so. Indira Gandhi was not very... Whom does Lakshman find ideal for a good caricature? in the present times? Well, Narsimbra was not uh, far behind. If they are not interesting, I make them interesting. For example, I was rather worried and uh, it was a nightmare when Rajiv Gandhi appeared on the scene because he was not looked upon as a politician. And I, suddenly he comes and I have to create him. So what I did was I elongated, lifted his nose, made his bald jaw and then shortened him and made him a little fat. People started recognizing him through my caricature rather than his person. That's why he said, you are making me look too fat. Muraji Desai was good. Most politicians of those days, Nehru was good. But nowadays, they, are, they don't wear Gandhi cap, they don't... That is, Vajpai is not bad at all. Kriplani, Vajpai, good. Is there a difficult face to draw? Difficult. If it is difficult, I will make it easy. I have not come across any. Lakshman was born in Mysore the fragrant land of Sandalwood, in a family of educationists headed by his father, R.V. Krishnaswamy, a school headmaster. Lakshmi was the youngest of his eight children. Lakshmi is a born artist. One day, when his drawing master asked his students to draw the picture of a leaf, young Lakshmi, who was just seven years old, drove it so perfectly, alternating its veins, thereby revealing his deep sense of observation at a young age. His drawing master had accurately predicted, then itself, that Lakshman would become a great artist one day in future. Veteran Indian novelist, late R.K. Narayan, the eldest brother of Lakshman, had inspired him a lot 
to illustrate most of his work. Lakshman loved to do a lot of life sketching. For sketching, I used to go to the marketplace, city market, sit there and sketch all the vegetable sellers, fellows who were leaning on the bicycle, buying something, carrot or something. That you don't find. Nowadays, you don't find that kind of thing anywhere. Lakshman has his own opinion on how a cartoonist should be. He must be an artist and no, must know anatomy, drapery, perspective. <laughs> I like the way the minister is sitting like this and whispering. See, so difficult this is to draw. Whispering something to a, another leader. People look at it and then register it in their mind. Whereas a cartoonist who calls himself, he will turn like this and write the caption, which loses about 80% of its beauty. On tasting bitters from the JJ School of Art, Bombay, Lakshman joined Maharaja's College of Mysore for his graduate studies. While at college, Lakshman's first works appeared in the Tamil magazine Kuravanji. And he continued with his illustrations for the short stories of his writer brother in the Hindu daily for a princely earning of rupees 30 per illustration those days. On leaving college with a BA degree, Lakshman continued his pursuit to settle as an artist which saw him as an animation artist for some time at Gemini Studios Madras, from where he moved to New Delhi for a brief stay. A chance break in journey at Bombay, while returning to his native place, had eventually found him settled in Bombay with the Times of India as an artist for a salary of rupees 6,000 per month. Starting first as an illustrator for the Illustrated Weekly of India, Lakshman soon commenced drawing their front page political cartoon. Ever since, there is no looking back. Lakshman's common man character made his first appearance in his You Said It daily pocket feature on December 2nd, 1957. And he remained there evergreen till this day. Lakshman has been a brilliant political commentator on current affairs ever since the early years of India's independence. Always fresh, original and scintillating, highlighting the reality in his own subtle satirical style of lampooning, Lakshman gained immense popularity all over the world as the premier cartoonist of India and has been regarded as Mr. Times of India in the journalistic world affectionately. Lakshman is married to Kamla, his niece, a born writer herself. One fine morning, there was a pleasant surprise for Mr. Lakshman at his office when the world-renowned British cartoonist Sir David Lowe had dropped in there only to see him in person. He had, since, till the evening he had nothing to do. So he got down, walked, found out, entered, and came to my room. I took him around Bombay and showed him. Afterwards, I told my office, the manager, proprietors, that I would like to go and spend some time in England. They immediately made all the arrangements. Now, I started working there, our cartoonist abroad. I used to meet David Lowe there. And also, I used to meet other cartoonists. Nice fellows. Next to the common man, interestingly, it is a common crow that stole the heart of Mr. Lakshman. Crow has obsessed him so much that he is continually inspired to draw countless number of crows in almost all conceivable postures whenever he finds some leisure time. Lakshman likes almost every aspect of his favorite crow which we studied in detail. A crow is the only, I mean, I've said this before, I've written about it also. 
Crow is the only bird which I can watch. Not a parrot or a peacock. Nobody looks at it. They know it is there. Other birds are dull and stupid. Parrot may say, hello, 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 come, come, come. But crow, the intelligence of crow is very close to that of human being. He has played a great deal of role in our mythology, folklore, tales for children. You must have heard about that. And no other bird has done a big pot, very little water below. I am thirsty. What do you do? Go on dropping the pebbles so that it may come up and then drink. Even today you can see when you throw uh, stale bread, the crow will pick it up take it to your type and soften it with water and then eat. This I have been noticing since I was a child and started drawing the crows because they have got a beautiful black and white and moment, turning, looking, cawing, sitting, sitting on your windowsill and looking inside. No other bird does it. I love it. Very dynamic, and I was in Washington, went to Smithsonian Institute. There they have experimented with crow. I was amazed to find it can count up to seven. They have experimented it. Iris Park in Aund, the posh residential area in Pune, is now proud to have the prestigious icon of Indian cartooning, Mr. R.K. Lakshman who chose to settle there permanently. And Mr. Lakshman is also proud and happy to have a few of his crows neatly framed and displayed around him all over his drawing room as a special attraction. There is yet another unique attraction there reflecting the typical choices of Mr. Lakshman. It's a big boulder I saw and uh, we have just do, moved into our flat in uh, Pune. I was coming from Bombay Pune Road and it was lying there. So I asked my contractor to shift it to my room, my drawing room. One can sit and chat on it. So he brought a lorry and somehow hauled it and it is there. I've got a big drawing room. People come, look at it, paintings, crows, and where did you get this? Beautiful. They have not seen it. It is <laughs> Bombay Puna Road. Thousands of them are right now. They have not seen it. But in my drawing room, it has a special attraction and quality. Lakshman loves to draw the pictures of Lord Ganesha also in different shapes and colors. He once told the gathering on how he finds Lord Ganesha as omnipresent. His deep sense of observation turned Lakshman into a world traveler and he loves to travel long distances so much that he never seems to get exhausted of his traveling around the globe. Here too, unlike many, Lakshman has a unique choice of places which you don't even dream to visit normally. Right from the beginning, I don't know why the destiny has taken me to all odd places in the world. I've gone deep down the Grand Canyon. I've gone up the Great Wall of China. I've gone to the North Sea and seen the iceberg float towards you. I have gone to down to the Africa. In India itself, I have gone to Andaman Nicobar Islands. We have spent in jungle. In Australia, from Perth to Sydney, I have flown. I have been to all parts of the world. I don't know, somehow invited, taken, universities, people have called me. I have been to Japan and seen Fujiyama. We have been to Bangkok, this, that, and you name it, I have been there. 
with all this i have been to nathula pass 80000 feet on the himalayas near the border of china where chinese were confronting the indian soldiers i was there i was also there in ichigil canal when the pakistanis fighting and i gone into lahore about 7 miles risking my life with all this how you may want to know my finances i have spent for all this 47 total of 47 rupees that is for tipping the coolies everything has been free whether it is russia sweden denmark france germany italy i have been to capri i have been to two years ago i was in portugal one of the dullest places you can come across portugal remember that and avoid spain is interesting but not portugal lakshman has a score of memorable experiences all through his life yet there is one experience which lakshman considers as the most unforgettable moment for him most incidents are unforgettable in my case one incident which really i remember and i am proud of is uh, i was in uh, touring in europe because i was invited by the heidelberg university to give a talk i flew from berlin to frankfurt but it was night night flight who passed 11 o'clock there was nobody in the airport lounge to receive me. and i didn't know where heidelberg was who was going to receive me but all that i knew was one christopher rigger was the professor of something history or something he was to receive but i found corridors going exits with nobody i didn't know the riggers telephone number anything i thought they would come with uh, nobody but i was waiting to curl up in the sofa <laughs> at the lounge and sleep away but suddenly through the corridor came a huge white sheet with the face of the common man slowly it moved towards me it was on a stick the man who came looked at me and said mr lakshman yes i am using your man to identify you because he is the only one who with whom you are familiar and i am family He, with that he was able to find out who i was attract me towards him i went towards him because he had the common man so he was very fond of the common man he used it for holding it and making me come so that is the unforgettable moment Lakshman holds an individual opinion on the high tech cartooning by the present generation. The art of cartooning consists of ridiculing art of complaint and it has got the quality of it must find a mistake in almost everything. It must try to find the paradox the contradiction in a human situation if you don't find that you can't be a cartoonist the ca- contradictions using a cinema star for promoting a party 
the cinema star is an illiterate he has made good through acting and he is used it's a contradiction intelligent people should promote their party not people who have just glamorized there are such contradictions in this country much more than any other country in fact the other countries have lost their the quality of uh, sense of humor britain which started about 3 400 years ago the art of caricature the art of graphic satire today is very poor in its humor papers like uh, magazines like by standard punch tidbits have folded up because people don't laugh much i don't like personally the computer cartoons it uh, they have no soul they look soulless like taylor's dummy lakshman did a series of caricatures of the stars he never met it is difficult to count the endless array of honors and awards showered on lakshman lakshman was honored by the indian government with padma shri and padma bhushan award He is the only cartoonist in the world to be the recipient of Raman Magasese award which he got in 1984. Marathwada University conferred on him the Doctor of Letters. Lately, Lakshman is honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award by the government of his native state, Karnataka. Nevertheless, Lakshman considers that the rare honor of unveiling by the President of India of a life-size statue of his common man character in Pune recently is the best one among all the honors he received so far. Naturally, how can there be a better honor than getting one's own creation immortalized so royally? That is Arke Lakshman.